Hi, my name's Joanne, trail name Greyhound. I am planning an Appalachian Trail through hike attempt in February with my friend Linda. We decided to train on the 76 mile Foothills Trail at the end of December. <laughs> it did not go according to plan. We're doing Ramdino's end of days hike, AT 2023 shakedown hike in the winter in December. So we can see how our gear does in cold. It's supposed to get down to 27 tonight. So not terribly cold. The trail looks so different than it did in October when we hiked it. All the leaves are on the ground now. It is just beautiful though. There's ice on the streams and on the trail in places and more views in the wintertime too. Look at that orange tree right there in the middle of the ice growing up crooked, so pretty. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing on this hike, um, hiking in little groups. I am hiking with Linda and Linda. Linda, Linda, and Joanne, day one. <laughs> Foothills Trail. <laughs> Two and a half miles per hour. What are we showing us? That's trail. good, <laughs> that's good for us. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't stay going that speed. Lick Log Falls, look at all the ice. It is so beautiful, so cold. One of the highlights of the entire trip was getting to meet Fresh Ground, who is a trail angel on the Appalachian Trail, a very famous one. He fed us for a lot of the trip. Our first day was a pretty easy, almost 11 mile hike. Oh, the litter. Really cold last night. Ice crystals. <laughs> Lots of them. The ground is frozen and I could feel the cold coming up through my sleeping pad. I've actually camped in nine degrees with a minus seven degree wind chill and I wasn't as cold as I was last night. Rhododendrons curl up when it's cold. See how curled they are? If I stop to video, I start getting cold, so I have to keep moving to stay warm. Look at the icicles. Looks like a little ice waterfall out there. We are up at about 5.30 this morning. Set off in the dark. too. So pretty. Well, Linda and Linda just got off trail at Girls Ford. My Linda that I'm hiking the AT with, she was planning to get off anyway at some point. The other Linda got off because her gear just wasn't working out for her. We met her on this hike and she's also planning to hike the AT this year. Look at the icicles. And the trail is a solid sheet of ice right here. Look at this. It's ice. I love the way it just pokes up through the ground. Here's my setup. Night of day two. Another great day. Trail magic from fresh ground. Yummy food. <laughs> great day. Since both Linda's left, I've been hiking with Vet Ruski. That's his YouTube channel. It's funny, I already followed him and his channel. He is another AT through hiker for 2023. I'll put a link to his channel below. These leaves in the ice. They're like about under three inches of water.
Isn't that amazing? Look at the massive ice sculptures. Isn't that beautiful? That log really shows how big they are. Lake Jocassi. Big steps. <laughs> well, I'm beginning to get a little bit of a complex. <laughs> now, Vet Ruski left the trail as well. So I'm hiking by myself. Everyone else is pretty far ahead of me. I'm going to have to do a 20 mile day if I even hope to catch up. And you might be able to hear Whitewater Falls in the background. We're getting closer to the bottom of the falls. Wow, look at this, a frozen waterfall. This ice is probably a foot thick. It just keeps on going down. Look how pretty this is. That's the base of that ice waterfall. The water never made it down this far before it froze. Look at all the ice. This is down below Whitewater Falls, the Whitewater River. And there's the new bridge right here, the little one. It goes over to the big one. That bridge was not there when we hiked this in October. And that's the trail down. See, kind of see the bridges on the other side. So I have to put this away so I can climb down. Alrighty then, I think I can make it. So I've decided to try for a 20 mile day today. That's farther than I've ever gone before. My farthest was 16 miles and that was over a lot easier terrain. Look at that ice waterfall, isn't that cool? What is that? Sounds like something's fighting. Maybe wild turkeys? I can't see anything. Pretty proud of myself. I did my first 20 mile day ever on trail. I did not catch up with the group though. So tomorrow I'm planning on doing an 18 mile day, which will put me into the Laurel Valley access point. So getting up this morning, I could not bend my left knee. It just wouldn't do it. A lot of pain. I still have the hardest 18 miles to go before I can get to road access to be bailed out. I have like four mountains to climb. So maybe I shouldn't have done the 20 miles. <laughs> Lesson learned. And there's more. <laughs> I've been using my 
poles as crutches, but I just wanted to show you how pretty this is. Look at that, the fog. It's rained all day too, so it's been really hard to video. But I'm getting picked up at Laurel Valley tomorrow. We'll stay at Jackie's Branch today. The knee continued to get worse all day, but in spite of the pain and the rain and the mountains, I was still having a great time out there all by myself. This is Virginia Hawkins Falls. So pretty. It's still raining today. That just makes the falls prettier, doesn't it? I'm limping out to Laurel Valley Access Point where Roy's gonna pick me up. But look at this. I'll take a few days off, make sure the knee is healed up, and then I'll finish the hike. I've only got one more day once I get out to Laurel Valley to get to Table Rock. I've got eight miles to do today. I did a little over 11 yesterday. And I learned hiking poles make great crutches. <laughs> So this was a valuable learning experience. Don't push 20 miles, first lesson learned. Build up gradually, start slow. And I might need a new air mattress. That frozen ground was really cold and I could feel it coming up through the air mattress. The knee ended up being an IT band overuse injury and I learned what to do to prevent it from happening again. And it took it about two weeks to get better and I have yet to finish that trail, but I will. <laughs>